you are listening to Sinu Podcast. This program is a collaboration between the Kapurai Communication and Alumni Relations Center and the Language Institute. Hello, everyone. This is Ashley Sapmeng, and welcome back to another episode of Sinu Podcast. And today, new is Sinu's key development towards world-class railway track foundation structure. So let's hear the news from Mr. Clayton Shuttleworth. Thank you, Ashley. En route to the economic infrastructure development of innovation-driven Thailand 4.0, a target industry of the future is aviation and logistics that maximize the connection efficiency of domestic and international transportation. This also includes railway. As such, the construction of a double-track railway is necessary. The project would allow bi-directional travel and improve transportation capacity, particularly regarding speed, since this kind of train enables greater acceleration. Chiang Mai University, equipped with civil engineering insight, joined the Railway Alliance Network to improve the railway industry. This partnership has given rise to the Chiang Mai University Advanced Railway Civil and Foundation Engineering Center, or CMU Rail CFC. With the support of clinical professor and president of CMU, Dr. Niwed Natajit, MD, who recognized the importance of the technological study of railway infrastructure, Associate Professor Dr. Pirapong Jitsangiam, director of CMU Rail CFC, has explained that the operation is divided into three phases. The first phase will focus on the cooperation among group members to establish an advanced laboratory for railway infrastructure technology. This lab will provide a one-stop service for railway sleeper testing and allow for collaboration with educational institutions overseas. The second phase involves applying for a research grant from a national funding body to research track ballast. We need to build six to seven double-track railway routes, which requires an enormous amount of track ballast. The study will investigate the possibility of using a mixture of deteriorated track ballast with a new ballast to minimize the environmental impacts due to blasting. If this works, Thailand will be able to build a double-track railway in line with the SDGs and thus improve sustainability. Finally, in the third phase in 2024, a full operation combining research, testing, and teaching support will commence, and there will be a greater involvement in international scale research. The center has also considered the integration of future technology into railway development, especially wireless sensor technology. At the moment, the research team has successfully developed a measurement device called Smart Rock to be planted in the rails. This is CMU's first project as part of this initiative. The device behaves like a track ballast rock and deteriorates every time the train passes by. It then measures deterioration, examines rotation, and sends a signal indicating the changes it has experienced in precise numbers back to the responsible sectors in real time. This allows repair and maintenance to be made without waiting for damages to occur. Through research and innovation, CMU, with the driving force of CMU Rail CFC, will play a key role in Thailand's progress. CMU Rail CFC will help railway transportation support economic promotion and will become a main actor in building the country's body of knowledge on railway infrastructure technology. Thank you very much, and that's it for today. Please stay tuned to the next episode of CMU Podcast on YouTube and Facebook, and don't forget to follow the hashtag CMU Podcast. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.